there's an interesting like lesson in here for people who try to build their own visual signatures that it's those rules that that create the signature and it's not that rules are are almost limiting it's that the rules are freeing can you just share how you know did you deliberately create the style is this just something that you sort of collected up over a period of time because it feels you know your work is so different the different iterations mood rollers mood flippers even the one of one work and now the ai work there's like definitely i can see it and know who created it quite quite easily coming for, again from product design and you know modeling designing shapes and so and then combined with animation and kinetic elements i think that that leads up to some kind of style but i think it's it's very i mean that the style is very reduced i try to reduce this, it as, as much as i can and then somehow the form comes comes out and it's so genuine and so simplified and it works or or i tweak it until it works but with the most simple elements and then that that trying to reduce language at the same time com- becomes also maybe the, the style. How do you go about stripping things back? And you mentioned just now that you sort of make them work. How do you go about stripping things back until you feel like you've, you know, not gone too far for it to not contain any emotion, but, you know, and, and keep that sort of balance? Minimals is a good example. I mean, there is like, um, I try to, how can I somehow uh, make or build an animal out of simple primitive shapes and and it's it's nearly like you, you set yourself like limits and boundaries and i i enjoy that like to mm-hmm. give myself rules in a way because if it's too open i get lost so if i if i say maybe i can just use free shapes let's say and how can i use free just primitive shapes and place them and scale them and rotate them and stick them together uh, and color them in a way that I recognize this is a penguin or this is uh, an elephant or something. So so it, it's it's always like, yeah, I guess it's about giving yourself certain rules in a way or limits and then stick to them. I think there's an interesting like lesson in here for people who try to build their own visual signatures that it's those rules that that create the signature and it's not that rules are are almost limiting it's that the rules are freeing because you have complete freedom within those that framework so you set yourself like these are my guidelines and i won't break out of that but within this there's now almost an infinite pool of options that you can create but it all feels coherent it all feels like it's part of the same family because of the the rule set. When I started playing more with 3D, I noticed, oh, this is so much more efficient and easier than than building something, setting up the studio, filming it and editing it.